Settle down, it's starting. How do, Azzy here, and today we are playing Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And we are still at Betty Lake, still level 1. I have caught but one fish since you were last here, and hang on, let's try this near cast malarkey. That didn't work. <laughs> right, and uh, today, still in Betty Lake, I have caught one more fish. We are going to try and catch today a fish. Uh, we're going to try and catch a few varieties of, of trout. Actually, there are a fair few about, so we're going to pop a line in and see if we can get something. We're using uh, flies as bait at the moment because I have plenty of flies. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a bit of a waggle. And we're going to hope that something goes for it. Hope that anything goes for it. Oh, there's a little fish. Come on, little fish. No, nope, wasn't interested. So, yes, the. For us in states, can we catch two species of, or more, of trout? So we're going to try fishing in various spots. I'm going to bring this back out. My apologies for the reeling in noises. I cannot turn this down for some reason. Do you have any idea of why that might be? Yeah, no, 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 no. All I've just seen a lot of fire, but to me it's So uh, we will see, come the uh, editing phase, whether, whether that is a, yeah, still a problem. Right, okay, there's a fishy there. Let's throw the thing towards the fishy. Hope it sees it. Give it a bit of waggleage. We might be a smidgen low here. So we might have to go back into... Uh, Fiddling with the settings. Yes, nothing's interested there, is it? There's nothing there. Right. In the back right, and I will have a little fiddle with the settings. See if we can. Uh, is there anywhere obvious that. It's... No, there isn't. So I shall have a ganders. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so it appears to be that that's the lowest I can get my uh, little fly to dangle in the water. Now, there are definitely fishes down by that rock. Let's see if we can get anywhere near it. See how far we can cast. Not particularly near the rock, but there might be fishes around here. So what I'm basically doing now is just looking for interest. I'm still get very much getting the hang of this game. But it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting intellectual challenge. Um, there we go. So there are fishes in the area. And it's just a case of making this fly look tasty enough for them to go for. How hard can that possibly be? Ah, uh, more fishes. Come on. At the moment, after absolute, I think that's a rainbow, absolutely any fishy whatsoever at the moment. I'm not proud. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. To gradually make his way back towards the towards the rod. I'm not quite sure whether that's what you're supposed to do. I'm pretty sure this isn't how you're supposed to do fly fishing. Uh, but I'll have a go anyway. And you can laugh at me in the comments. Cause no, you're not supposed to be doing that, Azzy. That's not how fly fishing is done. But we do appear to have a follow. We have a follow. And that is the marvellously named cutthroat trout. 
Now that's the other type of trout I have already caught. That's why it's not a record. Um, 400 grams of trout. Seven monies. Thank you very much. Right. Let's go see if we can get another one. Right, so I might might have worked out how to do this. You never know. Bit early for saying that could well be a fluke. So I'm going to aim again for around that rock. And we'll have another go at this. That's a lot closer. I'm going to go as that sinks down. I'm never sure whether that's the camera sinking or the fly sinking. And we're going to give that a bit of a... Just in case there's a fish immediately about. Again, I'm not entirely convinced that's how this works. We give it a couple of jiggles and then... We're going to do the alarmed fly crazy angle thing. Jiggles over the rock. I have no idea whether that's how flies work. I don't even know what angle I'm at now. Right, hang on, let's get back to the underwater thing. There we go. And that fly will gradually come in, hopefully. Peaking the interest of a little fishy. He says, rather optimistically. That's the only problem with this uh, underwater view. Ah, here in, in comes the fishy. I'll tell you what. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's not interested in the least. So, yeah, yeah, whatever. Fly on a red string. I'm not going for that. No way I'm going for that, mate. But maybe another, another little fish on my will. Here was me about to say, oh, I might have the hang of this, but no, obviously not. This could be completely the wrong way of doing this. Just twitch it. But I was another fish that was obviously not interested, but there are fish there. This is good news. I'm getting the bait to where the fish are, which is uh, probably a good thing. Bring it back very, very slowly. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I just, I think I have an invisible fly. I need to keep it still for a bit longer. We'll give that a few seconds just there. And uh, see if that makes a scrap of difference. Um, yeah, come on, there's only so long we can do nothing for, isn't there? Start bringing it back again. See if anything was even remotely... Remotely interested in this. See if we can get a proper view back again. There's not much of a proper view of there, really, is there? Right, bring that back in. And we will go again. So I'm going to have one more cast around here. I'm going to be a little more patient about it. Hang on, there's these little white blobs. Do you reckon they're fish? You can shout at your computer monitor now if you like. Right, so that's gone somewhere. Let's see if it's... Well, it's, if I was casting for that rock, that was pretty accurate. See, it's one time when I'm just aiming out generally that I uh, get immediately near the water feature. And I'm just going to let this do the dead fly thing for a little bit. Because there's other species of trout around here. I'd rather like to catch one. Right, so. Start back in again. See if we can catch the attention of any, any fishies. We're not fussy, any fishies will do. There's a fishy, not interested. We'll struggle a bit because there's a fishy. There we go, a little struggling fly. Not going for it. Maybe that's a bit dramatic, that action I'm doing there. Maybe it needs to be a little more subtle. 
maybe a little bit of that. That might be the bit to do it. So we've got all sorts of whatever that is. Hook size isn't much the size of fish in this area. Consider using a bigger hook. I saw it wasn't good saying that one. That's uh... oh, hang on. There's something coming by. Not interested, though. Right. We'll bring this back. In. There we go. We'll have a wander around. Partially to look at the scenery because um, the graphics on this are quite beautiful. I do quite Unfortunately, I have to put them on low because of my old laptop. And I can't possibly record and have it on high. It just doesn't play. But it really, really is a nice environment to be uh, playing a relaxing game on. Right, okay, let's, there's another walkage. Let's hike this out there. See what happens. Oh, catch in a moment. Right, so we've got the fly in the water. Now, I'm going to be really, really patient now and uh, give that a few seconds. There are fishes about. Aha, here's something incoming. And, well, I, <laughs> no, they're not. They're not going through it, are they? Maybe a little more life to the thing. Maybe they circle it. Like lions. Lion circle flies? Never seen a lion circling a fly, but they might. Oh, here we go, here we go. And we're on. We're not on fish escapes. I was too early. But we saw a fish, and that is obviously important. Not entirely sure what's all other than a trout. Not entirely sure what, what that fish was, but let's go for that area again. Hoping they're not spooked. I'm just going to give that a little, little waggle. Oh, just a little waggle. Hoping that there's still, still fishes about. Yeah. I'm just going to start bringing it in gently. Very, very gently bringing this in now. My apologies if those mouse clicks are uh, a bit loud. And we are going to hope to catch a second fish, which would mean in this video I've doubled the number of fish I've caught on this game. And it would be something other than a cutthroat trout, which is marvellously as it's named. Um, it would be nice to catch another fish here as well. Even the underwater features are rather deep, aren't they? Anyway, come on, there's no trout around here. Right, there's one there though. Let's, can I possibly aim in the vicinity of that fish? Uh, maybe not. Okay, I'm not an actual fly fisher, am I? I think I might be trying to... I want to try something different. Ooh, that's a... yeah. My apologies for that particular camera angle. Right, let's try something slightly different. So, I'm going to posh it up with um, bait. I'm going to take a fly off, but I have about me a single one maggot. So I'm going to pop the maggot on there, and actually, one thing I did notice is we've got all these 
Right, so can I do, will that be a fly on a maggot on a line? Or is that just cute? Oh, I really don't know. Right. Maybe it's that the fly doesn't get a... No, it does. So I'm trying to get multiple things on the line, and I've obviously misunderstood. Ah! Right, okay, no, I think these are different different hooks. Right, yes, maggots online. Maggots. That's that one. Right, we'll try with that. And we'll wander around a little bit. And we're looking for where the trout are, strangely, with us fishing. Um, so, trouty trouties. Well, there might be a different flavour of trout around here, so let's get a line in the water and find out. Won't do any harm. Okay, so we've got a little drowning maggot. We'll give that a little bit of action. Hopefully, make it look tasty. And I'll be, I'll actually be seriously pleased if I get another fish on this. So it's still very much learning the game. There's a lot, a lot more than just the one little lake with the with the trout in, they've got the uh, Greenland DLC coming out in the near future. That looks very, very funky, but I think getting the basics right is probably my priority at the moment. So I'm just going to bring this maggot in and see if we can attract anything. Anything? Oh, oh, here we go. Three, two, one, strike. Oh, it's, yeah, it's way stronger than my, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I even have a, do I still have a maggot? No baits, no, okay. Maggots are great. The fish love them and they just run off with them. So I'm going to re-equip with a fly. But absolutely four dollars for a fly yeah well it's only a game mechanic i won't fret about it um right we'll get back in the water and get on with it let's right, see if anything's interesting they like the maggots but they run off with the maggots it's like they're having your stereo so don't leave your bait box unlocked at night because they'll be away with the maggots. I like that. Right. Here yeah, I'm on trousers. Well, there's also an element of being bad. Ah ha ha! Trout! Three, two, one, strike. Right, this one's a bit less fierce. A brook trout, new record it will be, it's my very first brook trout, um, third of a kilo. Um, excellent, hang on, let's get that screenshot thing, what not, do dad. Thank you, right, six dollars, there you go, almost, almost as cheap as a fly. Now then the question is, do I keep me fly? I didn't count them, so I don't know. But, hang on, I'm going to go back. So retrospectively, I will know whether I had 26 plus that one initially or not. That's something to go back and check. But we have our second fish, and we have... Hang on, is there any way of... Uh, yeah. Cutthroat and a... Is that a brown trout? Right, so let's go along here and see. Maybe we can get a hat trick of trout. I'm just going to try and pick an area. Oh, is that bones? No, it's a tree trunk. I thought for a moment it was bones. 
And I'll tell you, oh, blimey, there's some dangerous beasties around here. Right, I'm going to pick a spot and be back with you in a moment. Okay, round here looks interesting. We've got some features. Got a little bit of luggage there, a bit of rockage that side. Um, and a fish just there. Probably just spooked it. So, let's see. Let's see if over here we can catch as a fishy. Well, I was hoping to cast further than that. Very half hearted of me, wasn't it? Right. Nonetheless, let's just see. Can we attract another fish? Come on, fish. You can really make my day by going for this fly. Make my day to an alarm. Fly. You have had interest from three, caught two. So that, I had a couple of them ignoring us as well, but. Not going too sh certainly compared to my first effort, not too shoddily. I'll pause it here for a bit, give it a bit of a jangle. We might not be getting anything on this particular one, so let's bring it in and go again. Okay, let's get as close to that log. So need a bit more effort from our little angry dude. And we're still nowhere near that log. But hey, let's get it two thirds of the way to that log. That'll be good. Right. In my imagination is this water a little bit murkier. Oh, it could well be my imagination. I wasn't. Not sure whether dancing that's helping or hindering. Really not sure. I have to pay a little more attention to what the action is I'm doing when the fish come in. There we go, we've got a trout and strike. And some little fish. It's only a little one again because it's quite easy coming in. Well, there you go. It's cutthroat again. But that is three fish. That's so 420 grams. Oh, you can spin it out with bat. Oh, that's interesting. You spin the fish around with the mouse wheel. Not with the mouse wheel, with the mouse. Okay, well, there you go. I just learned something else as well. Right, so that's another. Seven monies, seven dollars. Well, we'll take that. And we have actually managed to catch fish, so I am deliriously happy with that. And we're going to have one more go. See if we can't get a hat trick of species. And then we might call it. So there's a. Oh, now that's interesting. Let's have a gander's round there. So, what do we have around here? Um, the wind is definitely blowing. I'm not sure which way it's blowing. That's, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. Bet it hit an obstacle. Pants. Right, okay, let's just get this. Oh, there might be stuff from the from the from that brook there. Let's have a... Have a cast that way. Yeah, that's close enough. Right, and let's see. Oh, there was a fish just there. There was a fish just there. Right, so we, that one wasn't interested. Give it the little trickles, little wiggles. 
can have it slowly. So they bring it in. Oh, and see a trout. Come on, trout. Let it pause for a minute. Let the fly get its breath back. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay, and now we strike. I think it's another top row. It's bigger than one top No, it broke the line. Ah, well. Did I say one more cast? Oh, yeah, let's have one more cast to see if we get something else. And actually, I might be really, really patient on this one. So, completely new technique. Be patient. But they've got to be attracted in the first instance to something, which I'm assuming. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ha, 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 ho. Oh. Which I'm assuming is movement. But by the time they come into view, the, the ones that are going for it, by the time they come into view, they're already honed in on the fish. So by the time I see them, it's a bit late to attract them because they're a bit close. I think. Right, okay, no, there's definitely, you need to move a bit to, right, let's bring this, bring this in, let's end on a high, and it's another best part of half kilo culture, we've got three culture, we didn't quite get three species of fish, but we've got three of that, one brown, I think that is a good one, thank you very much indeed for watching this episode, um, I will be back with more various games including this one i'm really enjoying this actually it's an interesting technical challenge so thank you ever so much for watching i've been Azzy. i will catch you later